I attended the 42nd annual Days of the Past Antique Power and Equipment Show. The show takes place in Washington Crossing State Park, Titusville, New Jersey. Let's take a walk through the show. There were red tractors, green tractors, and Ford tractors. And even a couple hot rod tractors. A Caterpillar Club had their machines on display. There was a group of large trucks and a couple of old fire trucks. A steam-powered sawmill was busy making boards. And nearby, a blacksmith was demonstrating his craft. I really enjoy the hit-and-miss engine displays. This machine sorts potatoes by size. This engine is air-cooled. And that's a butter churner. Check out the gears on this one. The mechanism on this washing machine is mesmerizing. Mystery solved. These little scale model engines are cool. Here's the famous 805 Road King four-cylinder Briggs engine. Check out Small Engine Mechanic for more on this Bessemer generator. There was also an antique car display. I think this one was my favorite. This one's so tiny, it's hard to believe it's a real car. Okay, now let's check out the flea market. I think engine show flea markets are the best source for vintage tools. I'll let some music play while we walk around.
So here's what I brought home. This first set was three for a dollar. I thought this Lewis utility knife was cool. Would you call the design Art Deco? Check out the spring-loaded blade guard. The deal was 50 cents each or three for a dollar. So I picked out two US made wood handle screwdrivers. These next three items were a dollar each. You can't go wrong with a Stanley 199. I think the blades and side note makes it an older one. It wouldn't be an engine show if one of these didn't come home with me. As usual, it's bent. I've decided to start collecting screw holding screwdrivers. I had a couple quick wedge screwdrivers before, but I let them go. I paid two bucks for this small adjustable wrench. Aside from the surface rust, it looks like it's in great shape. The only marking I could find is the Made in Germany at the bottom of the handle. I paid up for this next pile. $12. Can you believe it? This multi-tool was $8. It has several bits inside the wood handle. The wood threads look really good. The bits have a square shank that fit into a brace type chuck. The chuck works well and holds the bits firmly. I got three flat tipped bits that I assume are screwdriver bits. This bit looks like it's meant for prying out small nails. This one is a gouge. and this one's an all. The other two items in the group are screw holding screwdrivers. This one is similar to the quick wedge design. Looks like it says Vaco K34. I haven't found any markings on this one. It has a different screw holding mechanism. Pretty neat, right? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.